어, 이제 발표를 이제 시작을 하도록 하겠습니다. 그 이름은 그, 어, 이름은 탈퇴한 이시리즈가이고 이제 발표는 이제 그, 어, is contributable internationalization process is k i n k s e t 에 발표를 해주겠습니다. The h e l l this session is getting started and t a k a k i s h i k a s a will speak about the c o n t r i b u t i o n t e n t i o n a l i z a t i o n process with this. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. 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 Thank Before my presentation, can I take a photo? Yeah, yeah. yeah? okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Three, two, one. Okay. Thank you. And uh, hi, Brown. Thank you for coming my session. And uh, 안녕하세요. <laughs> 나는 시민들과 이민이다. ありがとうございます. And Uh, who am I? I'm Takaiki Shimizuka Ken from Japan. And this is the second time of speaker at PyCon in Korea. Last year, I gave a talk about uh, Sphinx Orthodox. In this year, is, uh, I'll talk related language. Title is Easy Contributable Document Internationalization Process with Sphinx. This is the agenda of this session. A Sphinx introduction and setup for IATN, and easy way and non-easy way to translate. Thank you. And uh, Sphinx I I internationalization feature, and automated translation process with several services and tips. Before proceeding the, to the subject, I want to ask you, uh, how many people do you use uh, open source software? How many people use open source? OK, thank you. Everybody <laughs> use um, maybe uh, 20 people. And uh, obviously, uh, every people are using. And how many people uh, may have contributed to the OSS? Contribute? Include translation, oh yes, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thank you. Uh, uh, half people is uh, contributing, thank you. In my opinion, uh, using OSS is a first contribution. And also we can say that introducing the OSS to other people is another contribution. Uh, so almost, uh, Almost people, everybody, first time everybody uh, raise a hand and who has, uh, is, is already contributing, I think. And many of the OSS provide the document in English. How do you think, uh, does the translation into familiar language contribute to other developers? How, how do you think? Uh, Uh, translation into Korean, Korean, the English document, is uh, contribute to other developers, do you think? Yes? Okay, thank you. And, okay, in Japan, in Japan case, many programmers aren't familiar to English. In such situation, a translated document helps me, helps me when I introduced some library to uh, introduce some library to other developers. Because of this, I occasionally translate documents. I think by uh, your translation of an OSS document, more people will be able to use the OSS. If more than one person can join such translation work easily, it would be great. In this session, I'll introduce how to make a mechanism which is easy to join as a translator. In order to make the mechanism, uh, 
We will use such tools and services in this session. Tools is a Sphinx DocUtilis, Sphinx INTL, and Transfix client, and uh, Transfix and Drone IO services. A first subject, I'll introduce the Sphinx introduction and set up Sphinx for inter internationalization. What is Sphinx? Sphinx is a documentation generator. Sphinx generates docs as several output formats from restructured text markup that is uh, extensible. This man, Georg Brandl, is the father of Sphinx. Until 2007, Python official document was written by LaTeX, but it's too hard to maintenance. Georg was trying to change such a situation. So uh, he created Sphinx in 2007. Sphinx provides usability and maintainability of the Python official document. Sphinx before and after. Before, uh, there was no standard way to write documents. One of example is the Python official document. It was written by LaTeX and several some Python scripts Django. And sometimes we need converting markups into other formats. Since Sphinx has been released, we can generate more multiple output format from single source Integrated HTML themas makes read docs easier, and API reference can be integrated into narrative docs. Automated doc building and hosting by read the docs service. Nowadays, Sphinx has been used by these library and tools. Uh, Python libraries tools is uh, Python, Sphinx, Flask, Jinja2, uh, Django, Pyramid, SQLAKMI, NumPy, SciPy, Scikit-learn, Pandas, Fabric, Ansible, AWS Chirai, and non-Python library tools also using Sphinx for them dogs, uh, like uh, Chef and CakePHP and MathJax, Selenium, Vanish, so on. Sphinx extends the i18 mechanism to provide translation feature. In this session, let's take a look at the i 10 feature. How to, introduce, uh, sorry, how to install Sphinx with i 10 tools? You need to install Sphinx to build a Sphinx document. Also, you need to install Sphinx INTL and the Transfix client for translation. You should use the newest packages. At first, you should get source code, whether from uh, GitHub or other place to translate it. In this case, the source code already has a Sphinx doc directory. So type make HTML in doc directory to generate HTML output. You can see the output in build HTML directory. This is the output image of the uh, Sphinx generate document. And now you can see the directories and file structure like this. And, uh, oh, sorry, target library for docs that is uh, cloned from existing uh, repository. This doc directory is already exist in this uh, sample deep sort library. And document build output that was generated by make HTML here and document source that was generated by Sphinx QuickStat, this uh, confpy and in, sorry, index list and make bat and make, it, make files. And this is a conf.py file in the doc directory. You should add these two lines to the confpy. Uh, set a language code you want to use uh, for output doc and set a directory relative path from conf.py location. The local directory will have translated catalogs files. Now setup is over. Well, it is a main subject from here. It's a contributable internationalization process with Sphinx. Internationalization. What is internationalization? It's usually called i 18 that I've already mentioned. 
The internationalization process is sometimes called translation or localization enablement without rewriting the source code from technical point of view. Without rewriting the source code is important. Easy contributable. What is easy contributable? Easy contributable? Some software users or document read readers have wanted to contribute by translation. But if the preparation of the translation takes long time or require many kinds of skill, they are frustrated and give up. Easy contributable is the state that will be acceptable uh, accepted the contributions immediately. So, for the comparison, I'll introduce uh, three cases of diff difficult to contribute. First one is the manual are uh, provided only in the HTML files. Of course, you can translate it, but usually the HTML files are frequently updated. How do you follow the original changes to update, uh, update your translation? This is the first case. I have no idea how to follow the original changes. Second example, when the HTML manual are generated from restructured text file and doc strings in the source files, you can rewrite original files to translate it. But this approach has three problems. One is uh, you must be careful to maintain the structure text structure. And second is it's hard to divide the translation tasks for a number of volunteer translators. And three is it's hard to follow the upstream document source that is frequently updated. Okay, we are engineer. We can use Git. Maybe almost the user can use Git. And the, there are many, many steps to contribute our translations. Learn Git, learn GitHub, Git clone to the uh, code, and translation. Yes, this is what I want to do. And Git commit, Git pull, and sometimes you must resolve conflict and uh, sometimes lost your translations, or sometimes uh, broke source code, break source code, and uh, all, all, uh, all conflict, after conflict uh, resolved, git push. Uh, there are many, many steps exist. Additionally, in this case, the repository owner should allow write access permission for each translator, or uh, Repository owner must review all translation pull request, but maybe repository owner cannot read translated languages. This is also not an easy way. Well then, uh, what is an easy way? My opinion is this. Uh, left side is not an easy way, and right side is an easy way. No Git, no GitHub, no file, and you, uh, all you must do then is a translation and update automatically and no conflict, and you can get HTML output without hand build. We need easy way. The combination of the Sphinx IATN feature and some of the services give you an easy way. That's what is the goal of this session. Okay, let's move forward. Sphinx IATN feature. I'll explain the detail of the feature. A Sphinx IATN feature is composed of two functions. First one is the generating generation uh, POT files from restructured text files. POT file is a famous translation catalog format for get text that is used for INTN, you know. And second one is a generation translated HTML file with using PO files that is translated version of catalogs. 
It's the human work to prepare the translation PO files from the POT files. Like this, uh, converting the POT files into PO files is the job of human. In this flow, author generate POT file and first part, and then author ask translator to translate them. Translators receive the POT files from author in some way, then translate, translate them. And once it has been finished, translator send back the PO files to author. Let's look a little more detail from first part. Author can use make get text command to generate POT files. Make get text command extracts text from restructured text file and Python source that referenced by autodoc. I mean, uh, you can translate them into any language without rewriting the original restructured text file and Python source files. As you see, uh, POT translated catalog makes easy to translate from one language to another language. MSG ID line have an original sentence and MSG STR should have a translated one. Translated PO files should have as a right side structure here. And local directory has KO uh, if you choose a KO language. And it has LC messages directory and it has translated PO files. These four files are already translated. PO files are a copy of POT files with uh, changed files extension. If you want to translate it into other languages like JA, you can create other directories under local directory with same structures. When original POT files are updated by changing by, uh, sorry, changing of original document, you should update the PO files too. If you had done it manually, it's very hard. You can automate it by using Sphinx INTL. At first, uh, Sphinx INTL copy POT files uh, and rename them. When the document is changed, translator can use Sphinx INTL to update PO differences by same command. Just type this line uh, repeatedly. It's the uh, first time the Sphinx INT generated these uh, translation version PO files. And after that, document changes. Uh, same command updates the already translated PO files. It's easy to use. And as a consequence of introducing the Sphinx INT tool, translation, tra sorry, translators can concentrate for uh, translation. This is a translation work. Translators can use their favorite editors or helpful tools or services, easy that provide translation support features. And once the translation is complete, and uh, finally, let's run the make HTML command. Like this, type make, make HTML. Finally, author and translator can run make HTML and can get translated output without editing restructured text and Python code. This is a translated HTML sample. Internally, Sphinx pass restructured text file and replace them into translated one by using PO files. Entire, pro uh, sorry. Entire process to translate Sphinx docs is this. If you translate some Sphinx document without using the IATN feature, you need to rewrite original document source files. The Sphinx INTL feature provides an easy way to translate a document as you see. So far, uh, 
we found the mechanism of IATN of Sphinx. In this uh, section, automated translation process with several services. We will continue to automate this mechanism. Entire process to translate Sphinx docs. Right now, we have seen an uh, overall picture of this process. Actually, I have a thing that was not pictured here. These red strings. These command uh, Chrome or make get text or Sphinx INTL or make HTML or blah, blah, blah. It uh, required your hands to invoke. In other words, the translator must learn, learn such steps yet. Additionally, it would be difficult to translate in parallel. It's still not an uh, easy way. Okay, uh, let's make it to be automation, automation and parallelization. And uh, the translator doesn't need to know the mechanism and make the translation work possible to parallelize. Let's take a look at from the parallelization of the translation work, this part. Once you get PO files, you can use helpful tools or services easily that provide translation support features like a translation memory or recommending similar translation or grocery and auto translation. In particular, the use of the online translation service is important for parallelization. I'd like to introduce the Transfix as an online translation service. Transfix provides the following functions. Upload POT file and download PO files by API. And grocery feature, translation memory, recommending translations, automatic machine translation by using Google or Microsoft Bing API. Because you can do translation on the web screen, you can translate, you can translate them with other translators in parallel. This is a Transfix screen, translation screen. Uh, you can select one untranslated message like this and translate it by yourself or by machine translation. If the message contains a long module or method name, uh, you can click the icon, copy icon is exist and uh, copy, original, copy original text to translation box without typing. Sometimes you are suggested translation message from uh, other translator or translation memory here. Uh, you can pick up a suggestion from similar translation in the project or its historical changes. Uh, what is historical changes? For example, uh, when doc author fix a typo, a translation will be discarded. However, translation memory suggests previous translation that matches 99% with current original messages. Uh, in such situation, you can uh, choose a translated message from other box. Once you finish the translation, you can save it. Or uh, optionally, reviewer can review it. We have made translation parallelization. Next, let's automate the uh, con central part, this big part. The producer you want to Automate is made up uh, of six steps. At first, we will review the six step. First step is uh, Chrome repository to be translated. Two is make get text to generate translation catalog. And uh, three is upload PO translation catalog source and download translate P 
PO files and make HTML command to generate translated document and upload the HTML to publish it. That's all. Next, we will replace these all steps on the command line. This is the command line that includes the steps. Line one, install Sphinx and related tools and uh, Chrome repository and uh, create a Transfix account file by using Sphinx until that re reference environment variables, these like this. And uh, create a Transfix config file by using Sphinx INTL again. And generate POT files by make get text. And uh, upload resources information to in Transfix config file. And push POT file to translate to uh, Transfix. And pull translated PO file from Transfix and make HTML to generate translated HTML with using translated catalogs. The drone IO. Drone IO is a continuous integration service. Drone IO integrates seamlessly with uh, Google GitHub, Bitbucket, and Google Code to make setup fast and simple. Drone IO also integrates with Amazon, Heroku, Google App Engine, and more. For custom deployments, you can use SSH and shell script. Uh, you can use the service for public project without ch charge. In my case, I usually use GitHub and S3 integrations. Process of that is uh, push notification from GitHub and that, that uh, notification invoke the script you've seen. Then deploy HTML files onto S3 storage. If you set webhook notification URL to translate hook settings, uh, updating translation also invokes the drone IO script. By using drone IO service, automation can be achieved. Upper left process is replaced with right down one. This is a DTL. A webhook from GitHub invokes the script and the script execute command two, three, uh, four, and five. Two, three, four, five. And uh, finally, drone IO deployment feature will deploy HTML to AWS S3 storage. At this, uh, we got the automated mechanism by using drone IO environment. Maybe you can achieve this with using a Travis CI or a Circle CI or some other CI services. In summary, uh, let's look at the result of the automation at each point of view as author and translators. At first, a point of view from the docked author. When author push the repository from the doc author, uh, sorry, uh, when author push to the repository, translation source of Transfix will be updated. This process is was invoked. And uh, trans Transfix will be, uh, uh, sorry, and uh, also can check the translated HTML is in the site. Doc also doesn't require annoying procedure. The second is a point of view from doc translators. They can translate the document in parallel with uh, no git, no files, no conflict. And translation source are upgrade, updated automatically. They, and they can get a translated HTML output without hand build. It means that the translation contributor can focus on the translation. By the mechanism of automation, both of doc author and translator will provide the maximum effect with a minimum of effort. 
in order to make the mechanism, we, uh, I and other uh, Sphinx users in Japan use uh, such tools and services. And I'd like to introduce some of the tips How to handle URLs? By current implementation of Sphinx, uh, hyperlink target in restructured text files does not appear in POT files. It means you can't change the URL in the hyperlink target, like this. Uh, this is the original restructured text file, and the, the text includes uh, link target, like this. The link target is as uh, this link. Uh, in HTML, this is converted uh, to uh, a tag and href attribute. But uh, make get text command only uh, extract upper lines. So you want to change, uh, so you want to change URLs into translation version. You can use uh, embedded URLs notation like this. This is also a uh, Sphinx and restructured text uh, notation, normal notation. Second tip is uh, how to change language without rewriting conf.py. Because of, uh, you are not a owner of documentation, you can't change uh, the conf.py in the document. In such case, you can use Sphinx opt make option, like this. It also works with other target, not only make HTML, uh, like make link check with Sphinx opt option, works well. Uh, Link check target, make link check target is useful if you, your translation contains URLs. It will find typos in translation text. And second tip, uh, next tip is you can control POT file resolution. Uh, by default, get text underscore compat uh, configuration value is true. And uh, this, in this case, a restructured text file and the subdirectories are collected into single POT files. If you have uh, uh, some API directory for a documentation restructured text files and uh, make get text extract or uh, text under the API directories and uh, correct into one api.pot file. Sometimes uh, it's good, but sometimes it's not good. So you want to, do, you want to get a uh, corrected version, corrected, corrected pot file. Uh, you can change get text underscore compact, uh, sorry, under compact this, compact. Uh, config value set to false and all restructure text structure keep in uh, POT file structure. And uh, next tip is uh, translatable Sphinx uh, HTML template. Uh, Sphinx HTML template is written by Jinja2. So you can use trans template tag like this. Uh, trans template tag is uh, marked from trans, trans what users say and end trans. This what users say uh, will be extracted into uh, POT file. Then uh, so you can translate uh, what users say into your language and make get uh, make 
and make HTML uh, refer the translated string into uh, generate your uh, generated document. Okay, and this is a uh, example URL. Ah, okay. I I already uploaded my slide uh, to oh, okay. slide share and uh, uh, Python APAC site already linked to them. Please refer this uh, example if you uh, need. Okay. Any other question? Okay, please. Thank you for the nice presentation. Um, Visual page 38? Mm -hmm. 38 page. Ah, 8 page? Okay. Sorry. Sorry. This? Oh, it's 38. Ah, 38. Sorry. Um, please wait. Jump. Sorry. Mm, the ice. Jump. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> Sorry. Eight thousand. Okay. Yes. Uh, I want to ask uh, that uh, is uh, uh, for example after OBJ and double code. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as I know, if there is no space. In Japanese and Korean, uh -huh. it should generate some error. Okay. So uh, I experienced this error a few months ago, and so it was very familiar for me. My question is that uh, is there a kind of documentation for such kind of restriction or such kind of limit or errors? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. And the space before and after the. Uh, backcode or uh, restructured notation is uh, required, required by uh, restructured, restructured text uh, syntax. And uh, uh, in English, it is normal. Yeah, yeah, it's normal. Because uh, English use uh, space for uh, word separator, but uh, our uh, CJK language does not. The, but uh, Long time restructure text does not support uh, mm, uh, another one. detection. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My question is: that Is there a such kind of documentation in sticks mm -hmm. inside? Because it would be very helpful for many other translators. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Mm. I can say that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes I correct uh, removed space. Or uh, sometimes teach to other translators. Mm -hmm. it, it's just rule. Please keep the rule. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Normally, I develop uh, and write in English, but that is not true already. Some people write uh, programming in Finnish or Russian, so in that case, it is very difficult to separate translation from original language. Is there an uh, easy way to start from other translate key language when we use such tools? Oh, oh, sorry, uh, please more sorry, <laughs> sorry. That <laughs> uh, all programs in written in English uh -huh. or familiar English, uh -huh. like Russian or like Spanish. Uh -huh. In such case, we can we will start translation from other translated language like English. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, is there an easy way to automate in such things with your tool? Uh, okay, uh, I think your question is reverse case, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Korean to English or? Uh, yeah, original, 
original is Korean or yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think there is no way to easy to resolve that. Um, mm, I want to create such automation tool, but uh, now there is nothing. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <웃음> 예, 그 지금까지 발표해주신 그 이분께 발표 그 박수 좀 많이 부탁드리겠습니다. <웃음> 예, 지금부터.